music stopper. Ziwatanejo, otherwise known as Ziwa. I'm just leaving after five days. Really nice time. Amazing uh, little town here. Old church, it looks like. It is not 9.25. It is about 12 noon. Just checked out of my uh, place where I was staying. Not exactly a hotel, kind of an Airbnb, but uh, really, really nice place and really cool lady that uh, managed it and I'm now walking to the uh, bus station to catch a bus to Ixtapa which is only about uh, five miles away it is the bigger city the more uh, kind of touristy resort scene but it's supposed to be pretty nice as well so staying there for a few days Three nights, got a hotel booked, and uh, we'll see more in the area. Probably go to Tronconas Village. So uh, here we go. One day in Mexico. Vamos. Hola. Hola. Ah, it's Tapa. Ahorita 
professor called me today Is it gonna take your loved ones away? So uh, the Mexican buses are amazing. I got to the uh, bus station there and there was just luckily one uh, just going within like three minutes. And so you can see it's like really nice, like men's and women's separate bathrooms and mirror and toilet paper and all the necessary stuff. And so this is going to be a very short uh, bus ride. It's only like six kilometers or something like that, so maybe 10 or something over to Ixtapa from uh, Zio Watanejo. But uh, you get the idea. These are the typical buses that go all over Mexico. There are various, you know, companies. There are tons of different companies, but uh, they're mostly very nice when you're taking, especially the long distance. This is a long distance bus going further north. It's just stopping in Ixtapa. So uh, you get the idea. Very nice, uh, perfect, super comfortable. We got TV and uh, they'll give you like water and sometimes snacks and stuff like that. So an all around uh, good uh, bus ride experience. So let's do it. It's been a hundred thousand minutes past the hour The fuse refused to stop this burnout El tango de la muerte Now to's a crowd Hotel Suites Tropicana. Oh, Tropicana. It's not far from here. However, I charge you 50 pesos uh, if you don't want to go. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It's like a, it's a three minute walk. It's yeah. A, yeah, very close. I love to walk, man. Yeah. So I'll do it. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, good luck. Okay, bye. So there you go. It was just 71 pesos or $3.50 for. Uh, the short bus rides are not the best representation of how expensive it is, but uh, prices are very, very reasonable on the buses, including long distance. And I have to say, buses in Mexico are better than in the US, straight up. Like, the uh, prices are better for one thing. And then, okay, where is this hotel? It's just plain comfier. You saw a very clean, super plush seats. You have those uh, like uh, things that fold down that you can rest your legs on. TVs in the back of the seat, like good luck uh, expecting that on a Greyhound. Like you will never see that in the US. And the staff, the bus drivers are just plain nicer, friendlier. <laughs> it's Hotel Suites Tropicana, Ixtapa. And I'm like right there, but uh, not seeing it. Maybe it is that one there. And so the buses are more comfortable than Greyhound or Amtrak. They are uh, cheaper. The uh, service, the uh, staff, the bus drivers are friendlier. They actually like give you some general sense of being welcome there and stuff. Whereas in the US, the Greyhound drivers are just like, you know, get on the bus, give me your bag. No uh, sense of customer service at all. 
and a miniature golf course. I haven't seen one of these in a long time, but nobody playing it. I guess maybe it is uh, shut down for COVID. And Ixtapa is sure looking really nice. It's more swanky than Ziwa, but uh, very mellow vibe, not too uh, crazy. Beautiful city with all the palm trees and I'm sure that the uh, beach is going to be really spectacular. But man, where is that hotel of mine? I'm like right on top of it according to Google Maps. Heroes. Interesting old uh, building here. I don't know if this is the uh, right way, but fun to wander around here. Yeah, this is the right uh, general direction. It's somewhere other side of this plaza, I think. All right, well, this is perfect because I'm hungry and there's no hurry to check in, so let's grab some... Uh... Hola, buenas tardes. Hola, buenas tardes. Desayuno? Si? Sí. Gracias. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue, la casa de la bachata. And a quick room tour. Fifty bucks a night. Fairly basic, but a nice character. So this is a trippy building. Not sure yet what it is. I guess it's not a church. That's like a lighthouse tower, it looks like. The beach is around the corner. It is uh, getting later. And so my hotel is about a less than 10 minute walk that general direction. Ixtapa is one of those places where the resorts have uh, access to the uh, beach and it can be hard to actually get over to the beach. So I'm hoping that uh, this road will lead me there. It is definitely very close at this point. And here we go. Playa El Palmar 2. And looks like some big waves. Maybe it's still possible to swim though. I'm in the mood for it. Still plenty of daylight and uh, I am kind of sweaty. But uh, those are pretty serious. Looks like the restaurants are down this way. I'm guessing this guy is making sure people don't go very far into the water. Mostly people just uh, dipping their toes in, so let's at least do that.
swim accomplished. Felt amazing. Now the question is, can I find somewhere to uh, take a seat at a restaurant? These all seem to be like basically private places where you got to pay for a sunbed kind of a deal. Notice the uh, Hollister California t-shirt. I made a video talking about that. Like I said, you see them everywhere. Hollister, California. Hello. So it looks like maybe down here, there might be some more options for uh, places to grab a drink, take a seat. So it is starting to seem like, forget about a beer on the beach, because it is all just private resorts. Almost to the end here. Might just have to uh, go away from the beach. There's lots of restaurants in that area where I had breakfast. All right, let's see what happens here. Hola, bien. Uh, it's possible to get a cerveza and not, not a guest? No. Only guest, okay. okay Thank you. There you go, folks. It is an exclusive situation. This is basically a private beach where you can sneak onto it, but don't expect to get anything. Here's access, it looks like, to get back to the uh, main road, so, uh, it is just all blocked off by, I guess, all-inclusive, uh, resorts. I mean, I walked, like, most of the beach, like, two-thirds of the beach from over there or something, and not a single restaurant or place to get a drink or anything, so that's kind of annoying, but, uh... That's the way it goes, so let's find a place in town. Look, he's got t-shirts on the uh, seats there. So there basically aren't restaurants along this main street back behind the resort hotels. But there are various uh, restaurants around. Here we got Senor Taco. Senior Frogs, SF Shakers, Ixtapa, Restaurant, Bar, and Dance Hall. Thinking I'll go for this uh, Senior Taco Grill. Pretty cool place. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Lemonade, beer, and water. That should do the trick. And time to get to work. Editing my next video.